Hi, everybody, and welcome once again to Analytical English. I'm Karen, and I'm Wesley. Today is October eighteenth, and we're on page fifty-six of your magazines. And today we have a writing exercise for you. We're going to write an email of praise. 好，我们今天的中文啊，这个标题啊，或者我们写作的目标是要写一个赞扬的信啊，夸奖别人的信。And these are sometimes really nice to write because a lot of people go through their lives quietly doing good things. They do the right thing. They do what they're supposed to. And many people go above and beyond the call of duty and do some really good and kind things for other people. Sometimes they may go unnoticed. Sometimes they're noticed, but nobody says anything. But if somebody made that effort and was so thoughtful to help you in some way. Maybe it seemed kind of small at the time, but it really made a difference. It's a really nice gesture to thank them somehow. Yeah, 啊，我也非常同意啊。就是刚刚 Karen 老师讲说，其实很多人呢，他每天在他自己的这个工作职守上面，他很努力的做事情，把事情做得很好啊。那甚至于有的时候呢，他会刚刚讲到 go above and beyond the call of duty 啊。这 above and beyond the call of duty， the call of duty 就是。你的职务要求你要做的事情，分内的事情，分内的事情。可是很多人呢，他会怎么样？他会这个不止做分内的事情，他会做一些超越他,他不需要做的事情，他超越他分内的事情、嗯，那只是为了服务人家，或者是让帮助另外一个人啊，有有一个更好的一天啊。那像碰到这样的事情，或者是他就算不必这个超越分内的事情，他把他自己事情做得很好，有的时候我们也必须要感到，哎，这其实已经很不容易了。Yeah. And don't you often think that I'm just doing the normal things that are expected of me? But、mm-hmm. I did them quite well, and I didn't cheat, and I didn't take any shortcuts. I did what I was supposed to. I did it well. It's expected of us in a job. It's what we get paid for. But you think I still good, did a good job? I mean, I wish somebody would notice. Yeah, this is indeed. Ah, many people every day are doing the job. Ah, he. 他也许没有说这个做很多非分内的事情，可是他尽忠职守，事情做得很好。我觉得那就如果说这个有人能够看到，能够给他一点称赞的话，那 makes a big difference. It does. Yeah. And we have this expression now that's really popular in American English about being an adult, and we sometimes make it into a verb, adulting.、Mm. So I'm doing a very adult thing today. I'm adulting today. That means I'm just doing the things that are required and expected of me. But it takes effort, and I'm proud of myself for doing it. For example, I've gone out and taken care of my taxes. Now that's adulting. So I'm doing this is required of me, but I got it done early. I got it done well. I was adulting. A friend of mine on on the internet on Facebook, he said, "Well, I'm adulting today. I changed I changed all my bed linens." So Huan Chuang Dan, it's a guy who lives alone, and so he he cleaned his room. He changed the bed linens and washed them. He said, "You know, it's kind of tiring, but I am adulting today. I did what I was supposed to." Yeah, 好，所以英文有这种说法 ，I'm adulting,、uh, I'm adulting today.、Mm-hmm. 好，就是我做了一个成人该做的事情啊。That's right. 通常表示这事情不是什么 exciting 的事情，而且可能有时候觉得觉得蛮累的事情啊。但是呢，我做了我该做的事情，表示我是个负责任的成人啊。我觉得这种概念其实很棒，因为很多人长是成人的，可是他不不做成人该做的事情，他也不负成人，呀、嗯，或者不负成人该负的责。A lot of people don't. They don't even pay,、yeah. pay their bills on time. They forget.、Yeah. They don't、mm-hmm. have a good organ, organized filing system or something. And this guy is a scholar,、oh. so he has a lot more interesting things to do than change his bed.、Mm, he、yeah. could have been working on his research papers or teaching or whatever,、mm-hmm. but he took the time and changed his bed linens, and he was proud of himself. Yeah, 啊，所以像这个一位学者，他其实有很多事情要做，但是呢，更好玩的事，更好玩的事情要做啊。但是他今天啊，把他床单都换了啊，都洗完了<笑>啊。那这个这种事情就是 adult 型，就是你是个大人的啊，就算是个这个学者，你还是这些该做的还是要做。That's、啊、那他就做了， right. 所以他就有一点那种成就感啊。Right. Yeah. 所以给人家成就感这一点很重要。我自己也是试着，就如果有人服务很好，或者是去餐厅觉得哦，他做做东西很好吃啊，我会跟他们讲说，哎，东西很好吃哦。那我觉得几乎每一次，对方都会一开始会有一点 surprise， d、right. 啊，因为他会觉得说，好像这个这本来就是我该做的，我开餐厅，我本来就应该做好吃的东西给你吃啊，哎，可是有。有人这样赞扬他们说，他们一开始有点像，有点 surprise， 可是后来都就那个脸上就很高兴。That's 
That's right. And yeah. I do that too. For example, mm-hmm. there's a woman who cleans our building, the hallways and things. Yeah. And she's a very smart, educated person. And here she is doing the cleaning for our building. When mm-hmm. I see her, which is a tongman ganji, I said, thank you so much. It's her job. We pay her. Yeah. But she's making our building more comfortable and we don't have to do it. Yeah, 真的是这样子啊！所以偶尔啊，这个需要的时候，你如果真的很感动，你写封赞扬信是很好。而且像这种呃，赞扬信有一个好处啊，就是它是有，它是可以留下来当证据的。嗯啊，就算不算证据啊，就算就算这个人他他他随以后他可能心情不好，也许有一天他做的实在是很累的时候，他。不小心看到这封信，他就想到说啊，有人 appreciate exactly 我做的事情 exactly people appreciate me 对，而且这种服务好的人，这个尽忠职守的人呢，你这种信让他他长官看到也很好，因为长官就会说哦，原来这个人不错哦，这样子哦啊，那这个所以对对谁都好啊。不过我是听过有这个这个有的时候社会就是这样子啊，像这种信很好，但是我也我也听过有人自己写这种信的。哦、oh, ，太过分了，<笑>那就很糟糕了哈。那自己写这种信，夸奖自己，那给大家看，你看，你看，人家说我做的多好。That's bizarre、呃。但是这个东西，这个骗不了的人的啊，这个人家两、really、三下就会露出马脚的哈，是<笑>很怪。Yeah. There's one other thing I want to mention. I know we're chatting a lot before we get to the lesson, but I think all of it is worth thinking about. And this one is too, because this one contains a real nugget of advice that may help you in the future. When I was applying for a job in my chosen scene, I wrote. I well expect to go above and beyond the call of duty in my job.、Mm-hmm. Not just do what is required in this、yeah. list of things to do. I said I will go beyond that. I will do more when it's required. And later on, my boss said it was because of that sentence that he hired me. Oh, so you, if you express that you you are willing to do this, uh, do some. 非本分之内的事，可是该做的事我还是愿意做。哈，那这样说不定就会让老板决定，嗯，这个人不错。I want to add one more story to that. I talked with a former student, and her husband works at a bank.、Mm-hmm. And at the bank, she's moved around the world, so she's seen she's seen bank employees in different countries. When they were in Taiwan, she said the people they hired were very competent and、mm-hmm. they did their job well. Mm-hmm. But that's all they did. Nobody went above and beyond what they were told to do. They did exactly what they were told to do, and no more.、Mm-hmm. And the bank was disappointed in them for this reason. Oh, so this is like, uh, I don't know which bank is. Ah, in Taiwan, their this employee, the bank employees, ah, these they are very smart. Ah, they teach him to do his job. They do very well. That's all. Ah, just like that. Ah, that's it. Ah, that. Ah, that. Ah, that. 通常来讲，这个一个进步的公司，他会，他不只希望你员工就是该做的做好，他也希望你员工随时要想怎么样把我的工作做得更好，有什么事我可以做的让这公司更好，让大家更好。我们要真正的，我想所有的企业要的都是这种员工，而不是说我叫你一，你做一你就做一，然后叫你做二就做二啊，你做到了已经很好了，但是他希望你要再进一步。Not just 企业 ，we expect that from our students too, and the students who really go places, the students who end up. Among my Facebook friends, there are the students who do that. They find other things that are related. They come and ask me questions. I found this in the library. What do you think? And what、yeah. does this mean? Those are the students who go places. Yeah, 那是那是这个这种学生其实会成功的学生啊。Yeah. 他不是说老师叫他干嘛他就干嘛就好了，不是作业交了就算了。他会想办法去收集资料哈，去找一些相关的东西，然后有问题会跑去问老师。这样子的学生。And practice English on their own time, not just do their homework. Yeah, 那自己找时间练英文，这样英文才会学得好。Okay, what do we have to do? Our title again is an email of praise. 好，那提示部分，他说以课为尊这样的一个理念啊，被许多服务业啊这个呃当做很重要的一个原则啊。那你是否有遇过令你非常满意的服务人员啊？让你想要写一封信来赞美他啊，你有没有这样的经验呢？啊，或者赞美他给你的这种经验呢？所以现在呢，请你以顾客的身份写一封文长至少150个单词的赞扬信啊。第一段说明要赞扬的对象，第二第二段呢，叙述一下当时事件的经过啊，还有你写这个信的原因。Okay, let's move on. This is about format. We have talked about it before, but it is very, very important. It often gets ignored by Taiwanese, and as a result, you may lose some job and other opportunities due to your sloppy email style and format. 嗯，好，所以的写作格式我们都以前有讲过，但是我们还是要强调，要注意这个格式。你不要觉得格式不重要，这格式常常会让收信的人对你产生某种判断。嗯哼 ，Okay, what do we have to do? First of all, our salutation, dear Mr. Johnson, comma, body of the letter. What do we do there? 好，那我们先这收信人的称谓啊，现在还是可以说 Dear 某某某啊。
然后信件的主体呢，一般来讲，我们信件会内缩啊，但商业书信的话呢，多半是齐头式，可是每一段每一段中间会隔一隔一行啊。And pay attention, this is not 小细节 It's really important because people use that to judge you. At the first glance of your letter, they have already judged you. Yeah, 就像我讲的，这个他第一眼看到你的信的格式，他对你就会产生某一种的评判啊。就他的判评判可能说，哎，这个人不错啊，或者是哎，你看这个人写信都不知道断怎么怎么样隔断，怎么样这个格式怎么样、啊、？So sloppy. Yeah. 好，所以要注意，一般的信是内缩啊，那断与断之间就因为你内缩了，断与断之间就不一定要隔行。但是商业书信呢，你没有内缩，所以断与断之间你要隔行，不然没有人知道你这里是一个新新的一段啊。那你可以在进入信的主体前面呢，加一些问候语哈、啊，就问他近况怎么样啊。啊，这个询问健康啊，表达思念对方等等的，但不一定要加，但是你可以加。Especially not in a business letter。呀，尤其是这个、呃、商业书信呢、啊，你前面给他问问的太多 personal 的事情的话，啊，这个不恰当。You don't even know the person well, probably。呀，你也许都跟他还不熟，你就问他说：“哎呀，你太太最近怎么样啊？”他会觉得很奇怪，你问我太太干嘛 ？Just got a divorce。呀，啊，刚刚才离婚啊之类的哈、啊。好，所以呢，这个呃呃，信件主体哈、啊，那接下来呢？第三点啊，这个注意一下这个结尾的敬语啊。The complimentary close, and for that you have three choices. Pick one of them, ignore the rest. Sincerely, best regards, best wishes, or just regards is okay. There's a fourth one. Forget about all the rest. 啊，你就就是这这里写的三个，再加上一个 regards 啊，就这这里面你选一个啊，要么就 sincerely 啊，就么要不然就 best regards 或者 best wishes 或者是 regards。啊，换句话说，不用讲说 you are sincerely 啊，那个已经感觉很古老了。That's right, and that reminds me of when I'm writing a Chinese letter. We used to say 祝什么什么什么 right, 学、yeah. 安什么之类的 yeah. Yeah. But that has gotten less popular, and it、mm -hmm. is really fun. For a long time, we were using 顺心顺心 was really popular. Yeah. But 没风心一些祝顺心 it gets tiring too.、Mm -hmm. So lately, we've just kind of been ignoring it. Yeah. More to the point. Yeah. Ah.、Uh, 中文的信里面，后面的这种这个敬结尾的敬语，慢慢也是开始在简化了啊。Right. Then, 那英文还是基本上还是会写一个吧。Yes, if it's a business letter. In a business letter, I will do it on the first letter.、Mm -hmm. But in subsequent emails, it gets tiring, so we kind of leave it off because then it's too formal. That's my experience with Chinese. 嗯、mm、哼 -hmm. ，Yeah. 那英文的话，商业书信第一次你最好要写这个。结尾的敬语， yeah. 那之后呢？也许这个呃两两对两或三次之后呢，你就可以重简了、mm -hmm. 啊，就不用写了。And finally, sign your name with email. You're just going to type it out, but type out your full name, your given name, Ming, and then your Xing, your family name, name after it. Without it, we have no idea who you are. 好，那这个你要记得写全名，好，除非对方真的跟你很熟，或者是你的名字非常特别，嗯，啊，不然的话要把全名写出来。就算名字特别 ，if this is the first letter you're writing to somebody, oh yeah,、true. you definitely should write your full name. Yeah, just, okay. Yeah,、mm -hmm. and next is our outline. 好，那大纲第一段啊，引言呢一到两句，写一下这封信的主旨。然后呢，接下来赞扬的对象啊，两到三句，写一下说这封信要赞扬的对象和感谢的对象是谁。那第二段呢，讲一下故事的经过啊，一两句，所以叙述一下当时发生的故事，还有你想要表现的感，呃，表示感谢的理由，然后再次感谢啊，一到两句啊，对于他的帮助再次表达谢意。Let's now cover the same material in English. We are going to ask ourselves three of the W's, namely who, what, and why. For our first paragraph, let's ask ourselves who do you want to thank and praise. 啊，你想要谢谢或者是这个赞扬的对象是谁？ For the second paragraph, let's ask ourselves what happened in your case and why were you so grateful. 好，你那件事情是发生了什么事情？好，然后呢？为什么你这么的感激对方 ？And our conclusion, please tell Miss Zhu that we are really grateful for her help. 麻烦你告诉这个朱小姐，我们非常呃感谢她给我们的帮忙。And let's go into more detail now. For the first paragraph, my family and I recently took a flight on your new route. From Taipei to San Francisco. 好，我家人跟我哈，最近呢搭乘了一个航班哈 ，took a flight 啊 ，on your new route， 在你这个新的航线啊，是从台北到旧金山的航线。A, I'm writing this email to praise your staff. 那我现在写这封 email 呢，是要赞美你的工作人员。B, I'm especially grateful to your flight attendant, Mandy Zhu. 好，那我特别感谢的这个一个人呢，就是你的。服务人员，空服人员啊，那他是 Mandy Zhu
。那这个地方，这个 Mandy Zhu 就是那个 Your Flight Attendant 他的同位格啊。那因为他后面 Mandy Zhu 是名字哈、啊，所以你可以不用打逗点。嗯哼。Second paragraph during the flight, my younger sister Zoe went pale because she was suffering from a bad case of air sickness. 好，在飞行期间呢，我的妹妹啊 ，younger sister Zoe， 她怎么样呢 ？Went pale， 就是她脸色变白了啊，脸色苍白啊。为什么呢？因为 she was suffering from a bad case of air sickness， 她晕机晕得很严重啊。所以各位注意一下，中文讲的晕机很严重啊，这个好像严重是个形容词。好、啊，然后呢，这个晕机好像感觉起来是一件事情或是一个动词啊，但是呢，中文是。呃，英文是 suffering from， 然后呢 ，a bad case of， 再加 air sickness， 啊、uh, ，air sickness， right？、Oh, air sickness， yeah、mm-hmm.。A， my family and I didn't know what to do。那我家人跟我呢，都不知道怎么办啊、oh, ，didn't know what to do， 不是说不知道要做什么，也也也可以这样讲了。不过基本上就是中文讲的，不知道怎么办。B， then Miss Zhu， the flight attendant， brought a bottle of water for her。啊，然后呢，这个朱小姐呢，或者朱女士啊，这个因为 Miss 其实看不出来她到底有没有结婚了，好、啊，所以朱女士呢 ，And we don't care， Yeah， 我也没不在乎哈、啊。那她就就这位空服人员呢，她带了啊这个一瓶水啊来。See, she also distracted Zoe from her sickness by recommending an animated movie. 啊，那她也让这个 Zoe 啊这个分心啊，就吸引她的注意啊，就不要让她一直专注在她难过这件事情上面哈、啊，所以让她吸引她的注意哈、啊，让她怎么样吸引她的注意呢？她 recommending 啊，她介绍介绍推荐一部 animated movie 啊，一个动画片，然后跟 Zoe 讲说，哎，有一部动这个动画片很好看哦，你有没有看过啊？啊，没看过，那我放给你看好不好啊？她就慢，她这样就可以这个分心了。As long as it's not a 3D movie, it's probably okay. 3D movies、oh, make me sick. Oh yeah, 那只要不是 3D 的电影电影就好，因为 3D 电影有的人看了头会昏。Yeah, I couldn't watch. I was watching Avatar, and、oh, I had to turn my head. I was getting so sick. Yeah, 我我也是看的会看一段时间就会有一点昏昏的这样。Yeah. My son looked at me and said, "What's wrong? It's fine." <laughs> Didn't bother him a bit.、Mm. All right, conclusion. Please tell Miss Ju that we are really grateful for her help. 好，所以麻烦你告诉这个呃。朱女士，哈，我们真的很感激她的帮忙啊。We are really grateful for their help, for her help. And here is our letter, dear management. My family and I recently took a flight on your new route from Taipei to San Francisco. I'm writing this email to compliment and thank your staff, especially a flight attendant named Mandy Zhu. During the flight, my younger sister Zoe went pale because she was suffering from a bad case of air sickness. My parents and I didn't know what to do. Just then, Miss Ju brought a bottle of water for Zoe. She also asked my sister if there was anything else she could do for her. Zoe said she was feeling too ill to eat or drink anything but water. Meanwhile, Miss Ju distracted Zoe from her misery by recommending an animated movie that was available on the flight's entertainment system. That seemed to do the trick, and my sister began feeling better while watching the movie. Please tell Miss Ju that we are really grateful for her help. Sincerely, Thomas Xu. Back to the beginning, dear management. Ah,、uh, dear management. Management 指的是一个公司的管理阶层啊，所以你你也许不知道是谁会看到这封信啊，那你就可以写这样子。Right, and we don't want to mention a particular airline here. When they said 以客为尊 I thought of one particular airline、mm-hmm, yeah. because it's their slogan. But it may not be that airline, and we're not doing any advertising here. So we just picked a general way of addressing them when we don't know who we're writing to. Hmm. Yeah. 好，所以大家记得这个 management， 它不是指一个人哈，而是指管理阶层。And it's notable that we did not say to whom it may concern. And please throw that out. <laughs> you don't have to forget it completely, but don't use it. There are so few cases when you might need to use it. You might as well just forget about it. 啊，所以这个 to whom it may concern， 现在用的机会很少了哈，所以你你你把它忘掉没关系，你只要看得懂就好，你自己其实不需要写，因为现在写感觉起来很生硬、很古老那种感觉。How many times do you write 近期者？对呀，那现在就这个跟中文的近期者很像那种感觉，中文现在已经不太写作近期者了。I haven't seen it in a long time. I may have seen it once. Yeah. yeah. My family and I recently took a flight on your new route from Taipei to San Francisco. I think the first time I talked about it, I said route, route, and route are fine. I guess I'd prefer route here. Hmm. Yeah. 
好，所以这个是念你念 root 啊，念 route 都可以哈。呀，那所以他说我家人啊，这个我们刚刚前面有看过这个句子，我们最近做了一个你做搭上你们的班机，好，从台北到这个呃旧金山。I'm writing this email to compliment and thank your staff, especially a flight attendant named Mandy Zhu. 好，那这个诶。其实他这种写法啊，这我我是蛮建议大家这样做的，就是你在信的尽量再早一点就跟他讲说，你这封信是要干嘛？对、right. 啊，那对方知道你是要干嘛啊？开门见山。开门见山。Westerners appreciate that。Yeah， 就是英语的书信是英文的书信是这样子啊，中文的。Don't waste my time yeah.。Yeah， 中文的书信可能你会前面讲一大堆，那就说啊，对了啊什么的。But that's changing. Yeah. Chinese is changing a lot. I think it's due、yeah. to internationalization and the influence of English and the West,、mm-hmm. and also because of the media. Because we write so many letters now, nobody has time for that stuff anymore. Yeah, 我中文其实现在也在改变了哈，就是开门见山，因为大家的时间都很有限，而且现在大家每天要读的东西太多了哈，各种文字、网络的消息什么的，所以你尽量啊，一开始开门见山讲清楚，让对方节省对方时间跟他理解的经历。Now, as a Westerner, I really appreciate this change.、Mm-hmm. Maybe just because it suits me better, because I'm a Westerner. But I get the feeling that Chinese speakers appreciate it too. 那我我觉得也是，这个这个东西现在应该是整个全球性的问题哈、啊，就是我们资讯爆炸的时代，我们希望尽早这个知道达到你你沟通的目的是什么啊。所以这个地方讲到说，那各位你要表达你这封信的目的的时候，就用这个句型。好 ，I am writing 啊 ，to 什么什么啊，加个动词或者啊 ，I'm writing because 比那比较少见，通常就是 I'm writing to 干嘛啊？ Mm-hmm. 所以呢，那 I'm writing 啊、uh, ，this letter 或者 this email to 目的是要 compliment 这个地方是赞美的意思啊。那这个字呢 ，compliment 跟另外一个补语哈或者补偿那个字呢 ，compliment 音一模一样，但是拼法就差一个。一个是 i， 一个是 e。好，那我觉得很简单，你就记 compliment 赞美，人都喜欢赞美嘛。你觉得爱我好爱哦，或者是这个跟我有关系啊？那所以是 c o m p l i 啊，我爱嘛，所以这是赞美 compliment。那另外一个补充的那个补语，那就是 p l e 了哈。所以我写这封信呢，是要赞美一下啊，还要谢谢你的这个 staff 啊，你的工作人员啊，尤其是。因为 staff 是个集合名词啊，就所有的工作人员，所以我讲一下，其中有一个啊，这个空服员啊，名字叫做 Mandy Zhu。During the flight, my younger sister Zoe went pale because she was suffering from a bad case of air sickness. We covered that, haven't yep, we?、Mm-hmm. Right. So my parents and I didn't know what to do, and we covered that. Just、mm-hmm. then, Miss Zhu brought a bottle of water for Zoe.、Mm-hmm. Covered it. Yep. She also asked my sister if there was anything else she could do for her. Yeah, 这个就加上去。她说，她也问问我的妹妹说，有没有什么她可以做的事情。Yeah, is there anything I can do for you? 啊，那这个当然是很 nice 的一种服务的方法。It's nice if you really want to help somebody, though. Suggest something concrete because often our brains can't work hard enough to think of something at the time. Yeah, 这个也很重要。就是你问完这句话之后，你如果真的想帮她的话，你可能可以建议一些，例如说，哎，你要不要喝个水啊？你要不要什么什么东西？走一走啊！对对对，之类的啊！因为这个受苦的那个人，他一时之间可能想不出来他想要什么。Their brain is already overloaded. Yeah. Zoe said she was feeling too ill to eat or drink anything but water. Watch out for feeling ill. Feeling is e, not filling. It's feeling. Ill is 短的 e. 啊，所以他觉得他是。他感觉到很这个太难过了哈 ，too ill 哈 ，to eat or drink anything but to accept 哈，他什么也不想吃，什么也不想喝，除了水之外，啊，所以他只想喝水。Meanwhile, Miss Ju distracted Zoe from her misery by recommending an animated movie that was available on the flight's entertainment system. 啊，在此同时呢，这个朱女士呢就 distracted 啊，这个 Zoe。好，从从他的 misery 哈，他因为他一直觉得啊，我好苦，我好惨的，我怎么这么可怜啊？那就让他不要想他很可怜的这个状，这个事情心情，或者从他可怜状态里面把他稍微 distract 一下。他怎么做呢？就是建议推荐一个这个动画片啊，那个动画片呢，在飞机上面的这个 entertainment system 这这个娱乐系统里面有这部片哈，所以建议他去看那个电影。This idiom is okay here, but be careful with "from her misery" because when we say to put someone out of their misery, it means to kill them. <笑>没错哈，因为里面说 to put someone out of his misery， 意思是把他杀了哈，让他不要再受苦了。Mm-hmm. 所以这注意这里，他是用 "from"、mm-hmm. yeah.。That seemed to do the trick, and my sister began feeling better while watching the movie. 好 ，do the trick 就是 achieve the required result， 所以就是 or desired， 有 or desired result 啊、mm-hmm. ，所以就是哎，成功了，有办法，这个这个果然成功了哈，有效
然后呢，我的 sister 开始觉得，慢慢觉得就心就好一点了哈。她一边看电影一边就 feeling better. Please tell Miss Zhu that we are really grateful for her help. 啊，请告诉她，我们真的很感谢她的帮助。Sincerely, Thomas Xu. That's it for today. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. 